Hi friends, and welcome to this very first Cruise Life video. Um, if for some reason you're watching this and you don't know me, my name is Jocelyn, and I'm getting ready to go on my very first contract to be a lead singer on Royal Caribbean's Grandeur of the Seas. I'm a girlie who loves to watch the Crew Life vlogs. Will this be the only video? Maybe. Will this video not even see the light of day? Possibly. I'm just gonna show you the mess that is this room right now. You see that pile? That is all clothes I wanna bring. Here's all my dance gear. Even that's gonna be a struggle. I'm keeping in mind that I'll only do laundry about once a week in Miami, so I'm packing quite a few pairs of shorts, pants, shirts, sports bras, and some workout sweaters. It's time to organize my clothes. We're gonna start with pajamas, because that seems the least daunting to me. And just the thought of all this is making me sweat a little bit. So I actually changed my shirt because this is hot. That's better. In total, I brought two sets that had shorts, two sets that had pants, and a silk nighty. There's just so much to pack. I don't even know where to go next. I think I'm having a bit of an epiphany, and I feel like I should be separating my clothes into like a only going to be wearing them on the cruise versus like I'm going to be wearing these in Miami because some of these things... I'm not going to need until I'm on the cruise. And then they get to go in the vacuum sealed bags. And then everything else gets to go in my little organizing bags. I think I'm onto something. Am I? Or am I just delirious? But hey, sometimes being the Lulu is the Salulu. Guys, I think that was the smartest idea ever because now I have all the stuff that I'll probably wear in Miami versus the stuff I'm only gonna wear on the boat. Those are cardigans, don't ignore those. And then I can just put these in one little baggie. These can get put up with the rest of my like smart set, formal dresses, ignore that as well, okay? Just ignore everything except for these stuff, these things. This is what's important. I was so smart in this moment. So now we're just gonna put all the things you know we're gonna wear in Miami in the little cubes because that way I don't have to deal with um, revacuuming it when I'm done, Miami needs to go back in my, uh, in my suitcase. This was so smart. I love myself sometimes. Perfect. She's not overly stuffed. She's perfect. Great choices were made. I think I'm going to go through bathing suits and cover-ups next. Cause that is definitely something I'll be doing and wearing in Miami. Oh, this also has sundresses, short sundresses. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do like beachy stuff. At this point, I don't know why, but I decided you needed an in-depth tour of every single bathing suit I brought with me, both one piece and bikinis. I think honestly, I'm just excited to be going to a place where I could wear a bikini any day of the week, not just like in a two month time period. You know what I mean? But I am about to show you my favorite beach cover-up ever because they are adorable and you are about to see that. My favorite cover-up ever. These pants. Look at these pants. They've got fluttering little ruffles on the side and they've got butterflies on them. They look adorable. I wore these for a friend's birthday on Canada Day. Adorable. So they're obviously coming and I'm gonna have my little Love Island too hot to handle moment. This, this makes me think of Love Island too hot to handle, which I mean, I'm in the Caribbean. Okay. And then I guess I had a few short sundresses in there. There's this one. She has a bit of a matcha stain on her back because I spilled matcha in my car and she was there. We've got this silky little number, which I love. I don't know how this is tied right now, but you get the picture. Yeah, that's kind of fun, Miami. Yeah, that's definitely, it's definitely common. This is cute. And it's got pockets. It's my favorite part. It's just like a little abstract, little florally, my favorite thing ever to find. Come in with me to Miami. Two cute little skirts. Uh, I'm just gonna pack these in the bag that had all my casual Miami shirts just because there was room and I might as well use it. I wonder, will I even have space for shorts? Let's see. I have high-waisted, high-waisted jean shorts and like normal kind of mid-rise jean shorts. And then I just have two little, I like these like terry cloth blue ones and then just like some casual jogger shorts as well. I feel like it's just 
I went into that pair. Honestly, we only need one pair of jean shorts. And making it happen. And it's gonna work. Yes, we did it. We did it. T-shirts, tank tops, camis, shorts, skirts, small ones. And this cube. Pajamas, socks, underwear, bras. Stuffed in this thing. That was a hassle, I will say. Hi, I'm back. I took a little break. And by a little break, I mean it's the next day and I had Christmas and went to sleep. But now I'm awake again. Hence why my voice is groggy again. Anyway, it's time to do the stuff that's all going to get vacuum sealed. So these are my long formal dresses. I've got two colored ones. Let's see if I can lift these up. Okay, I've got two colored ones, pink and red. This black long, like fancy, fancy one that has rose appliques. Then two kind of plain black ones. One's a halter, um, like chiffon -y one, and one's a straight sparkly um, velvet one. And then I, hold on. And then we have this bad boy. But she's going to get a bag of her own because she is a moment. And she may not be used at all. So I want to be able to give it back to my family. You want to see what I'm doing? Here we go. Honestly, vacuum sealing these bags was so satisfying. Um, it doesn't go as small as I was expecting it to, but it was still a lot of fun to watch. More. I don't know. Maybe that's fine. Here come the cocktail dresses. Okay, so I have one, two, three black cocktail dresses of like varying styles. One colored, like eggplanty color um, cocktail dress. And then I have this one which my mom told me I had to take. It's a little romper, but it's got, can you see that? It's a really fun little short romper. Any so I ended up putting even more stuff in this bag along with my cocktail dresses. I put my other smart casual and formal wear items into this bag, like my formal pants, skirts, tops, and some of my other show wear stuff like my shapewear and my show bras and anything else I might wear with these. Hi, as you can see we've moved locations. I'm now in the staging room, aka my dining room. Um, on the table right now I have to be packed and checked luggage. And then this all can be packed in my carry-ons, hopefully. And now we have officially all of my clothes. Also in good news, I finally just got final approval on my medical. Two days before I fly. Okay, so this was my first go at packing my check bag and I was feeling really good. I was able to pack this bag and my other check bag so they both had room, um, but spoiler alert, I did not have to pack this bag once. I did not have to pack this bag twice, but I had to pack this bag probably four times or like make four attempts with the help of my mother, um, which was a struggle, okay? So you're gonna see that, but this was my eager first attempt and I was so naive and I thought I was doing so well. But um, obviously I have to weigh it, but I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Girl, you shouldn't. When you're really passionate about your seasonings. <laughs> so I might have packed my medium bag without filming by mistake, but it's okay because then I weighed both my large bag and my medium bag. My large bag is way overweight. My medium bag is underweight, so I'm gonna have to do some repacking there. But we're moving on to my carry-on right now, and I have it organized into stuff going into my carry-on case. And there's stuff going into my personal bag, which you can't see, but it's over here. Can I show you somehow? Shoop. Do, 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 do. See, ignore these. These bags are not going with me, but this stuff is going in there. I think this is kind of flat. So I'm going to put my like self-care products in this kind of flatter side. Because this side is like really shallow compared to this side. So I can't really put any bags or things right there. But I'm going to put a lot of flat stuff. So that's going to be my heating pad. Um, my straws for singing, my notebook, uh, my nebulizer, and toothbrush charger. Oh, it's backwards anyway. I'm a Vancouver girl. I have tarot. Okay, no one judge me. Um, maybe I can. Oh, what about her? 
let's pop the game. She's very important to me. Okay, my dance gear, my one set of dance clothes. Just in case anything were to happen to my check bags, I really don't think or hope it will, but just in case, I feel like I could fit something else in there. My face massager, that will work. Oh yeah, there we go. So yeah, all of my dance shoes, these are tap, jazz, uh, tap shoes, jazz shoes, ballet shoes, and my character heels. So maybe I'll throw my little eye massager up in this corner. Yeah, and then this one can go down here. Um, these go in my planner, they're little stickers. Oh wait, these stickers go in here though. Hello, this is a little baggie of just like photos and stickers and other things that my kids have sent me or given me that I want to bring with me because I'm going to miss them. That there for now. Boy stuff. This is all like lozenges and teas and stuff like that. This is all like my workout supplies and stuff. How do you shove her down so she fits? Okay. I think that's gonna be okay. I'm gonna slide. What else am I sliding here? A song. Refills. Okay. Let's see. So this is packed now. Wee woo! Um, actually, some of those stickers in there I could put on my suitcases. I ordered some stickers to put on my suitcase. What am I gonna do with my shoes? I have a lot of my shoes on the bag. Okay, let's get back at it. Hello. Now that we have those in there, let's pack this bag up. Oh, my dad working. Sweet, sweet man. Okay. So cables. This is, this literally has all of every single cable. Um, I need. I have all of my all of my documents, all of my documents in this folder organized. Documents going in. I also have a little compact in here right now. My sunglasses. Cable bag. Um. Headphones, toothbrush, hairbrush, jewelry, because I don't trust nobody with my jewelry except for myself. And even then, I don't trust myself with my jewelry sometimes. Okay, um, travel medication. Very important is my wallet, has everything I need. Dairy and gluten pills, because I do not trust the plane or any part of the airport to be able to give me a decent dairy and gluten-free meal. Um, this is a journal I've been keeping, marking my journey. This adorable stuffy one of my students gave me, which I will also use as a pillow, because look, it's perfect. It's perfect. Um, that'll go in there. And then I have my little travel makeup and deodorant and other contacts. Um, because I have packed up all my stage makeup, but I will be needing makeup before I get to Miami between now and then, crazy enough as it is. This is my toiletry bag. My mom was like, you need to put it in this one. This one's TSA approved. So I'll take out the few liquids I have in here and put them in here, but I'm not worried about it. And yeah, other than the shoes, that's it. So let's repack my other bags and hope that they don't go over the weight limit. Hee hee ha ha. I'm scared. Update, so I was able to put all my shoes in my carry-on. Mostly in the carry-on like suitcase, but I put my last thing of sneakers in my bag. So, if my mom asks, I did nothing to her table. Nothing is happening to her table. Okay, obviously we can't get anything on this side. She is packed to the brim, but I have so much space over here. Here comes the mother load. My dad's doing work out front in front of this big window and it's making me insecure. I'm like, don't perceive me. Thing went on and on, my number and my phone. I might change your contact, don't even know. It's sweet sassy molassy. Let's try that. It's pretty heavy. Then I get on just a wave of a barrel. 
Why am I talking like this? I really don't know. I apologize. Here comes the moment of truth. Let's turn so you can see what's happening. Okay. Tear, thank you very much. We're at like 25. I think that's what I need to be at 22. So I've taken two. Where am I going to put it though? This is a stumper. So I did check and 50 pounds is 22.68 kilos. So we're still over by a good like three kilos. Oops. I just don't know how to repack everything. I wonder if maybe I should put all of my fancy clothes in this one because they're heavier. Maybe that would sort itself out. I don't know what other people's packing videos. They just go so well. And I feel like they're bringing the same amount of stuff that I am. So, I don't know. This feels heavier now. <laughs> We're at an impasse. I might need to take a break and get my mom and dad to help me figure this out. I don't know what to do. How to do it. I think I'm stuck. Hi guys. So as we can see, I am no longer in that house. I'm no longer in Canada. I am actually recording this uh, from my beautiful suite here at Bay Vista in Miami. And I am starting on week two of rehearsals. They're going well, but I unfortunately did not finish recording that at all. <laughs> my mom did help me pack later that night. And my mom, in the best of circumstances, doesn't like being on camera. And unfortunately, my mom is not really well right now, um, which makes it really hard to leave her. But my dad is home. He's going to take good care of her. But yeah, she like... We spent almost an hour repacking everything and I luckily got everything packed. Both my bags were at weight, so that was fun. Um, but yeah, it was a struggle, but we got here. We're here. We're in my Miami. We're in rehearsal. Sorry for the chaotic vlog. Um, I am new to this. I'm figuring it out, but I'm gonna try to make more if you guys want it. My kids at the studio asked for me to vlog, so here I am. Hello everyone, all my kids watching from Music Theater A2. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I promise it'll be shorter in the future, but packing for six hours and filming that and turning that into 20 minutes of content, I'll take that as a win, okay? Okay, see you next time, bye.